Hello everybody. We have here the Acer Aspire 1 756. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you uh, the Windows Experience Index uh, between uh, using 2 GB RAM or an upgrading to 8 GB RAM. Right now the computer is stock. It came with 2 GB and I'm going to show you the Windows uh, Index. So you can see the score. So as you can see, the Windows experience is 4.7. Um, Memory operations per second, it's, it gets a 5.5. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the computer, upgrade the RAM, and then we're going to run the Windows Experience again and see how much it goes up from 5.5. So And the RAM that I have here is a PNY. It's two sticks of uh, four gig each one, and it's compatible with uh, with the thirteen thirty three megahertz and uh, thousand sixty six megahertz. Anyways, so the computer is off now. Take this off, then you take the battery off. As you can see, this machine has two slots for memory. It's one here, the other one right here. So like I said, it came with two gig of RAM stock. So you're gonna push this out. Take this out. We're going to replace it for the 4 gig. And we're going to add the other 4 gig. Now we're going to connect the battery. Gonna plug the computer because in order to refresh the Windows experience, you have to be connected to the power. So here we go. This memory right here, I believe I paid about seventy dollars, between sixty something and seventy five dollars, something like that. It's not too expensive, it's not too cheap, but it's really worth it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and see the score in a moment.
Okay, so as you saw, the computer boot up really quick. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Windows experience. So as you can see right there, it tells you that your Windows Experience Index needs to be refreshed. So when I click on that, see right now it's still showing the 5.5 from before. So the overall score might not change. But you're going to see that the score for the memory RAM is going to change. So right here, as you can see, it went from 5.5 to 7.4. The overall score stayed the same, but the score for the memory operations per second went up almost two points so let me tell you that, that for a little netbook like this one something that you can buy for right now under 300 dollars that's a really really high score uh, i've seen iCore fours and iCore five machines with the same score or even lower so that's all for right now. Thank you for watching.